Always fresh and a little bit sticky. Keep it locked down, cannabis wiki. We're always fresh and a little bit sticky. The green room on cannabis wiki. Hey everybody, welcome to the green room live from Stoked Cannabis in Niagara Falls, Ontario. Hey D. Hey. <laughs> welcome back. Yeah. Excited to be here again. I'm I excited. love Stoked. Me too. I'm stoked to be here. <laughs> I'm stoked to interview our next guest. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Noah. Noah is a bud tender. Do you guys call yourselves bud tenders or education spe educational specialists at Stoked? Honestly, we go back and forth between the terms. They are interchangeable. We prefer educator. Educator. Um, you okay. know, it slides off the tongue easier. It's also a little bit more professional sounding. Noah is the educator here at Stoked, and mm -hmm. the reason we grabbed him and pulled him into chat is this is a pretty knowledgeable dude when we're listening to the conversations being had about cannabis. You know it. <laughs> I, I, I definitely try. I, you know, I don't claim to know everything by any means, and there's always room to grow with everybody. Um, so, you know, it's a never-ending learning cycle, but you got to have that open mindset and be able to, you know, learn on the fly even, you know, learn from customers and what they have to say. So, so mm. it's more than just can sell that you're using. <laughs> oh, 100, 110%. You have to use personal experience. You have to use, you know, the advice you get from other people's uh, experiences as well because not everybody's going to experience the same thing. Okay, well, what's hot right now? What's hot in Stoked Cannabis in Niagara? Yeah, let's do the in top five countdown. Yeah, the top, top five. five. Top five. Honestly, right now, next Friday is killing it. Um, we had their London Pound Mints in. That's London stuff. what? London Pound Mints. Okay. So it was a, uh, it's Cookies uh, London Pound Cake um, crossed with Seed Junkies Cush Mints 11. Absolutely banger. Sold out. It's gone. We've had people come back, ask for it multiple times. It's not here, unfortunately. <laughs> but we have the, uh, their next Friday is Blueberry Fuego right now. Blueberry Fuego. Blueberry Fuego. That is some delicious bud. I like Fuego. Honestly, you can't go wrong with it. Um, Quest Apple Mac, flying off the shelves. This You'd batch say is, that's your number three? I would, I would put Quest? that at my number three right now. Okay. Their Apple Mac is absolutely killing it. Um, obviously, anything cookies, people love it. I love it. Um, personally, I've gone through Georgia Pie 14 gram bags, I've gone through 3.5s, I've gone through pre-rolls, I've gone through GP20 14 grams. I love hot. So cookie, <laughs> cookies, <laughs> apple pie, is that what you said, cookies? Um, what was the cookies one? Georgia Pie. Georgia Pie. Yeah. Okay, and number two? Um, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, we're going that way, okay. Number two, <laughs> number two I'm gonna have to probably throw up the, the Gary Payton from Cookies. I absolutely love the Gary Payton, beautiful hybrid. Um, Obviously, Gary super Payton. well bred. Pardon? Who is Gary Payton? Gary Payton basketball. is a basketball player. <laughs> um, legally in Canada, we have to call it GP20. Um, so but here on the green room, you can call it a Gary Payton. <laughs> yep, that's what it's. That's what the GP stands for. It's called Gary Payton, and that's what it's called in the U.S. So we're gonna stand by legacy names. And then the last one in your top five. Um, honestly. Honestly, Noah. <laughs> This one's, this one's going to be a long shot for a lot of people, and a lot of people are going to question it, but I got to go with the mints, the soap. Mints what? The soap. Soap? The soap. It's called, mints soap? It, yeah, it's, it's, so it's by, I'm wearing one of their lanyards right now, actually. Okay. Um, Who's it by? What is this? It's, so it's a Cookies affiliate. It's Cookies Exotic Branding. So Cookies has basically three um, products under them. Like brandings. They have their cookies line, which is uh, essentially most of their like standard well-known strains. Yep. Um, they have lemonade, which is going to be their sativa based lineup. So hybrid sativas are going to end up there like Lion's Mane, uh, Medellin, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously for um, mints, it's their exotic lineup. So weird crosses, different things, people that people are going to either jump out of their shoes yep. and love or hate. <laughs> or, you know, feeling different about. <laughs> uh, so like, People are going to be talking about it. Exactly. So right now, that's one of the strains out that I'm absolutely crazy about. I love the soap. Can't go wrong with it. 
when, okay, so as we're talking to you, there's customers coming and going from the store. What are they most likely to buy here at Stoked? Lately? Is it pre-rolls? Is it flour? Is it the beverages? What are, you, what are your, your customers most likely to come in and get? My customers will buy anything and everything. They, yeah. whatever they need, we will get them what they need. Um, and that doesn't mean they walk in and ask for a pre-roll specifically. They might ask for a pre-roll and leave with chocolate, a bath bomb, gummies, a drink, and that pre-roll. Right. We're, we're not here to just give you what you want. We're here to give you what you need. need. Mm, I like that. Garrett so likes that. Yeah, they we're, need it. We're, we're really passionate about that and supplying yeah. people with what, the, what they need at the end of the day. Um, and obviously, we want happy people. So yep. you got to put on a happy face. And we got great attitudes around here. So people are walking in. You're, if you're going to buy a pre-roll, you're going to love that pre-roll. Even, even if you, you know... How's the hash market here at Stoked? Oh, people love hash, that's for sure. We're, we're definitely a house of hash, we consider ourselves. Nice. We even have the hash kettles for sale right now mm. um, from Hashco. We got three in the jar, in the, uh, in the display. Hash so, kettle, do you have a hash kettle? I don't have one, Jackie. What the heck, you need a hash kettle. You definitely right, need a hash kettle. These are hardcore, you call, what do you call them, hash heads or hashers or what do you call someone loves Old heads, that. hash heads, you know. <laughs> Hot knifers. Hot knifer. <laughs> He's a hot knifer. <laughs> An OG so hash you're, user. You're an influencer yourself too, right? Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call myself an influencer, but I. I try. Yeah, I think. Um, I I'm, think so. I'm definitely on the on the gram, and you know. Yeah. Putting myself out there, so. Well, yeah. you're super knowledgeable. I mean, everything we asked, you had a lot to say and more. <laughs> it was good. You knew way more than uh, I was. Honestly, I'm, I love to talk. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll talk all day. It, and you love weed. I freaking love, love to weed. talk about weed. So, like, it's perfect. I, this it, job was meant for you. So, like, when did you think, like, okay, I'm going to become a bud tender? Um, it was actually not too long ago. It was, okay. it was of uh, probably February this year. Right. Um, I had already had my can sell for multiple months. Mm -hmm. um, just randomly picked it up in the middle of doing college. Right. Um, thought maybe, hey, I'll apply for a job. I applied to countless, countless places. Right. Countless. All dispensaries? All dispensaries. Okay. Never got a shot. Mm -hmm. Kind of gave up. Still had my can sell. Yeah. Was working at Saxoff Fifth. Mm -hmm. If I could sell a used Louis Vuitton purse as a vintage bag for a couple thousand dollars, yeah. I can sell you some weed. Right. I like the comparison between the Louis Vuitton and the weed. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you're smoking exotic, you're going to have some exotic stuff around. Right. Right? We sell exotic weed. Connoisseurs yeah. come here. A hundred percent. People from the U.S. expecting super high quality bud come here all the time. Well, we and have border town. People yeah. from we the are US a very are big border town. Yeah. Tourists love it here. Tourists come in. They leave their mark on the wall. They love everything about this place. You can't get enough. You sit down, you can roll your own weed. Oh, yeah. We're sitting yeah. at your rolling stations, right? Yeah, now. our That's little fun. rolling stations. We got some grinders out. Okay, but hold on a second. So how did, then did you get the job at Stoke? Because nobody would hire you, and then what happened? So nobody would hire me. Right. I got to give a big shout-out to Francesco. Um, obviously, you guys all know French. French. Yep. Um, French is an amazing dude. I applied one day. Got a call back. I was shocked. French talked to me, said, okay, let's do it. We're opening a store in Niagara. Can you make the commute? I live all the way in St. Catharines. I said, no problem, done. Yeah. I was going to do anything to get out of Saks and, you know, <laughs> do what I felt more passionate about, even yeah. though I, I was passionate and still am about high fashion and Louis Vuitton and stuff like that, yeah. right? Um, gave them instantly my notice. Um, told them I wouldn't be showing up because training started the next day. Yeah. And it, from there, I've been here every day since pretty much. Nice. Hey, welcome to Stoke, Noah. So We're glad you're here. Do you look at this as like a stepping stone? Are you looking to advance in the industry? Like, and, or is this, I'm, a, this is well, my, this is home for me right now. Right. That's that's what I know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I even took the step to move closer to the store because I like it so much. Right. Like this 
And the only you like place being hands that on with the customers and love being hands on knowledge, educating them. I love seeing like even just like the tourists, right? It's yeah. great. Like you get to interact with random people every single day. I like the the interactions. It's always positive. And at the end of the day, even if it's like mildly negative, you're still getting the person high. You're you're doing <laughs> them a good thing. Right. You can't be mad about that. Yeah. So and you get good you get good support here at Stoked. I think that amazing loves support. Amazing. Talk to lots of the bud tenders and the people that work here. It seems to be honestly tight, like a family. We're 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 all like this, and I don't think any of us would really change it for the world. When no one's around, do you guys sit around here and sing Kumbaya <laughs> around your fire? I wish I could say yes, but um, come on, Noah, um, you do. <laughs> <laughs> we've definitely we've definitely sat here and had some meetings before. So with without saying and this is just something I'm very curious about without saying like without saying too much but letting us know has something come in that everyone is just like what the heck like everyone's on board with this like this is just a disaster like have has some draw has somebody tried to sell something that is just like no there's no place for it um yes yes for, for sure but once again, if you could sell a Louis Vuitton bag that's been I used, sell it. He's saying he can you can sell, sell it. whatever, right? So it's obviously not here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we didn't get rid of it. I can tell you that. Do, so, you, do you get to have input on what they sell in the store? Do you, do you get to jump in and Or what not and, to order. Or what not to order? Like we're not ordering that. So w staff does get a minor say. Um, Obviously, we're not the be-all, end-all at the end right. of the day, mm -hmm. but we do get customer feedback. We hear a lot from customers and what they like and what yeah. they didn't like, um, especially regulars, right? Regulars get feedback. Um, we were talking about some hash earlier today. Regulars specifically wanted uh, Maverick hash by Statesman, and of course, we have to bring it in. They love it. They come out. They buy it up. So why not have it? Yep. Um, but with that being said, there's, there's obviously a couple steps before the orders get finalized. So you never know what you're going to get at the end of the day, but we do always have a general idea of what's coming in. And the second that order is placed, we, we are aware of what's coming and we're getting prepared to sell it. Nice. So it, it's, it's not like we're coming in blind or anything. Right, that makes sense. You've been here a while now. Do you still get excited when the shipments come in? Oh, every, every time. Every I, time? I, I'm it's pretty exciting. sure I get booked on, on those days specifically um, <laughs> because I, I get a little hyped up um, on those days and I like seeing the stock drawers and stuff. You know, everything looks really nice when it's full, um, like right now. Yeah. Like nice. I, I'm loving it right now. So we stocked up yesterday. Uh, so, yeah. Perfect time. Literally perfect, perfect time. Perfect time for the green room to roll up. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Noah, thank you for joining us. We really Anytime, appreciate guys. taking some time out. And bud tenders are the real influencers, and you guys do move the needle here in the industry. So thank you for chatting with us. I really appreciate and it. And we love being at Stoked. It's been fun to Yeah, be. and give a shout out to your Instagram, too. Yeah. My Instagram is uh, Noah underscore the kid uh, underscore between all words. Uh, Cassack, C A S S A C K. Uh, yeah. Nice. Well, when we, your friends and fam watch this, listen to this now, and uh, you're going to yeah, get a whole I bunch of so. new followers. I, <laughs> well, no, Make sure you guys follow Noah. Make sure you follow Noah. I would really Noah. appreciate the follow. I would. While you're listening to the green room, you listen to the green room, right, Noah? I do. There, good answer. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks for joining us at Stoked Cannabis. Bye. Have a great Boom. one. Peace. We're always fresh and a little bit sticky. The Green Room on Cannabis Wiki.